hello guys so this is our first question of uh, the ac electric circuit analysis and here we are asked to find the impedances of figure 15.120 in both polar and rectangular forms okay so uh, these impedances are given here so what is basically the impedance so recently in our course we have studied the resistance so resistance is also the impedance where only the resistance or the real quantity is concerned similarly if we have in the circuit which are composed of the inductors or capacitors okay so this is the inductor this is the capacitors so the uh, reactances which are associated with these elements are represented by xl and xc respectively okay so um, in any circuit we might have the combination of any of these three elements so in that case that resistance or that reactance is basically called the impedance and represented by z okay so that is basically the impedance which is basically composed of the real and the complex quantities okay uh, or i can say that real and imaginary quantities uh, so that would be the impedance so here in our question a we are asked to find the uh, or express the impedances in both polar and rectangular form so initially here in part a we have r 6.8 so as this one is only the real quantity so here the impedance let me call it z1 and z1 here is only 6.8 ohm so here this is 6.8 plus z0 so imaginary quantity here is 0 so that is the re rectangular one okay so that is the rectangular representation similarly if i want to represent it in the polar form what it would be so it would be like 6.8 whole square plus 0 whole square and square root so from it i will get also the 6.8 and the angle here will be 0 degrees okay so that is again the uh, 6.8 okay so that is the solution of uh, my question a similarly in b what is it asking us to find so again we are going to express the impedance associated with the circuit in b in polar and rectangular form so here we are given that the l width or the uh, inductance of the circuit given in b is basically 1.2 henry okay so uh, from here it is clear that xl is equal to omega l or 2 pi f l or the value of xc is always equal to 1 over omega c or that is also the 2 pi f okay so these are the quantities which i will have to find out okay so now here once uh, this 1.2 uh, henry is concerned so this is not the impedance here so in order to find the impedance here what i have to do i have to find the value of x of l and from this equation we have seen that the value of it is 2 pi f l or in radians if the frequency is in radians so what it will be let me use this one here okay so now here it will be omega l so in this circuit omega is also given and that is 377 radians per second so omega l is the x l and the value of omega is 377 radians per second and it is multiplied with l and the value of l is 1.2 okay so multiplying it let me bring it here so 377 multiplied by 1.2 so what i will get here okay converting it to this one so i will get here 452.4 okay so that is basically the inductance here and that is in ohm 
So, uh, once the values of the inductive reactance is calculated, so this is basically the imaginary quantity and uh, here we always I have to use the value plus j. Similarly, with x of c what I have to use, I have to use the value with this denominator as j. Okay? So, once this will be used like 1 by j, so I have a knowledge that j is always equal to the 1 over j, okay, j is always equal to the minus 1 over j and that is because of that j multiplied by j is always equal to minus 1, okay. So, uh, from it I can see that this will be j 452.4 ohm or I can also represent it like 0 plus j 452.4, okay. So, that is basically the rectangular form, okay. Uh, similarly, here in order to represent it in the polar form, uh, let me tell you a very simplified version here and that is let let me have it uh, z2 and the value of z2 is uh, 0 plus j 452.4 ohm and always draw this quantity or this phasor over the complex plane what it will give me let me draw it here when I will draw it over here, I can very easily see that this is the, sorry, this is the imaginary axis while this was the real axis. So, uh, from here we can see that the real quantity here is 0. For all the complex numbers uh, where only the, the number is composed of the imaginary quantity, there uh, the real component will be 0. So, all the zeros will lie here. Similarly, the value of j 52 will lie here because this is the imaginary quantity. So, this is the representation of it on the complex plane. Okay. So, we can very easily see that the angle it will make with this uh, real axis will be 90 degrees. Okay. So, that is basically the scenario where every number which is let me have this z and that is j x. So, every z which is only composed of the imaginary quantities will have the phase angle equal to 90 degrees. Okay. So, you have to remember it that wherever you will get this j, the angle there will be 90 degree. Okay. So, the same uh, basically lies here because now here in this uh, question I have this only j. So, here the amplitude will always also be 452.4 and the angle here will be 90 degrees because this is plus j and this is in ohm. Okay. So, that is the answer of my question where this is in polar form and that is basically the rectangular form. Okay. So, I hope you have understood uh, what I was talking about. Similarly, let me go to the third one. So, in part C here, what we have to find again, we have to find the value of the impedance and we have to represent it in the form of the um, rectangular and polar forms. So, now here, okay, so this is part C and in part C, I have a frequency of 50 hertz while the inductance is of 0 0.05 Henry. Okay. So, let me check it again. Okay. So, that is 0 0.05 Henry. Okay. So, what we have to do again, we have to find the same values here. So, again, we can see that XL is equal to the 2 pi FL. So, here we know the value of f because it was given here that the frequency or here is basically 50 hertz, but in the previous question the frequency was basically in radians. So, now let me convert it or uh, do it in this manner. So, it will be xl is equal to 2 pi 
and the value of f is 50 while the value of l is 0 0.05 okay so now uh, in order to write it let me again go to the calculator here okay now 2 multiplied by 50 multiplied by 3.14 that is the value of pi okay and multiplied by 0 0.04 okay so let me print it and here it is 15.7 okay so now let me write here 15.7 and that is xl and similarly to represent xl i have to write j with it so it is now in ohm and in rectangular let me call it z3 and z3 is basically 0 plus j 15.7 ohm okay so that is the rectangular uh, representation while in polar system as i have earlier discussed that would be 15.7 and the angle here will be 90 degree because of the plus j and no uh, real quantity here okay so that is again in O. Okay. for part d we will come back later on in our uh, next video so thank you so much and i will continue this question in our next video